Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Ravi Biradar, a technical support engineer from Informatica. In this video, we will discuss on how to launch a standalone EDM from Windows machine. So let's see today's agenda. Uh, we will see uh, what are the prerequisites to launch the uh, standalone EDM and uh, how to launch the standalone EDM in this video. So what are the prerequisites? Before launching the standalone EDM, we need to copy uh, EDM folder from the ILM server machine. This folder will be present under ILM home slash web app directory. Next thing is we need to make sure that the same version of Java is installed in Windows machine as ILM server machine. From the ILM 6.2 version onwards, Java 1.7 is recommended. So another thing is we need to set the environment variables once the Java is installed we need to set the Java home and the path environment variables to point to Java 1.7. So as you can see in this example Java home is set to Java JDK 1.7 a 45 update and path is also added Java home slash bin. Once the environment variables are set properly then we are ready to launch the ADM. Now go to the EDM folder where it is copied in the local machine and run the EDM.bat file to launch the standalone EDM. As soon as the EDM is launched, we will be prompted to provide the repository details. This is for AIM home repository, so provide uh, the AIM home details and click OK. So here you can select your the database type and version and uh, you need to enter the host and port service name username and password once the details are provided click on ok to save the uh, details here you can provide the name to save it for future use and then click ok and then it will ask for the ilm user using which you want to allow, use the EDM. provide the ilm user details this user uh, needs to have the developer role to make any changes in the EDM. So I'll give the administrator user itself. Okay, once you provide the details, click on OK. So it will ask for the application home schema as EDM ID source and click on yes. Now the EDM is launched successfully. We can import the tables from the database, um, expand the application, select the particular application and select the uh, import metadata from database to import the uh, tables from the databases and uh, you can create the entities create logical constraints virtual views etc so this is it from this video we would love to hear from you for any feedback you can use the below link to provide us the feedback thanks for watching have a nice day